Here is the commercial platform uh, training of uh, cross border training. This is the share of uh, commercial platform all around the world. Um, it's in uh, in visitor, but not unique visitor, so people can come back on the website. I mean this, and people can can see one website, another, and another. You can see several websites. Here you can see immediately that the biggest uh, uh, the biggest platform is Taobao all around the world. Taobao is the one who is attracting the most traffic on earth. Okay, but Taobao is a Chinese platform. People are going on Taobao only in China. It's only a Chinese platform, and the fact that it's a Chinese platform for Chinese people, and the fact that Chinese uh, people represent uh, uh, a fifth of the entire world population, it's normal that he has a big place on the on the global market. Else, the second biggest one is Amazon. Amazon.com after it's eBay eBay.com so uh, this free platform just Taobao Amazon and eBay just this free platform and I'm talking about the dot com Taobao.com Amazon.com and eBay.com has more than 50% of the world no, of the world traffic on commercial platform there are accumulating more traffic than all the other commercial platform all around the world so this free platform you need to be on them it's really really you, you must you cannot avoid them after you will see uh, Amazon Japan uh, Google Shopping Aliexpress Alibaba Amazon Germany eBay Germany you will see plenty of other, uh, other platforms who are very powerful still but the free must or uh, Taobao, I guess you are already on it. Uh, Amazon.com, eBay.com. Amazon.com is very powerful, but the problem of Amazon is each there is uh, plenty of uh, Amazon platform. As you can see, there is uh, Amazon Japan, who is not very far away, who is quite good uh, too, with five percent of world traffic. But Amazon uh, between Amazon Japan and Amazon.com. It's actually two completely different websites. They have the same name, the same CMS, but if you create an account on Amazon.com, you cannot use it in Amazon Japan. You have to create a new account in Amazon Japan. You have to create a new account in uh, Amazon Germany. You have to create a new account in Amazon France. You have to create a new account on... That's a big problem of Amazon. Amazon, uh, for this, uh, I would say that they are a bit stupid to have done this, but they are they are stupid to have done this that's a big mistake we have done and it's not a mistake that eBay has done eBay is doing uh, is playing very well on this that's why I more recommend you if you want to spend a lot a lot of time I more recommend you to go on uh, eBay than Amazon because like this you can create just one account you create your account in uh, eBay uh, eBay China or eBay.com and from this account you can manage all the other websites all the other uh, eBay's, and uh, if you uh, accumulate uh, all the uh, all the eBay's accounts, you are stronger than Amazon, or much stronger than Amazon because eBay has a lot and lot of platform. When uh, Amazon is very strong, too, and uh, if you accumulate all the little Amazon, they are very strong also. But the little Amazon are completely different websites, so you cannot consider as one big website, which is the case for eBay. If you want to uh, to have the, the entire here, you can see all the websites, but I don't know if on the video you will see it well. So uh, you can, uh, can also uh, see the entire list from cross border training slash commercial platform dot txt. You can find the links uh, under the the graph. Here you will have all the domain name to uh, to uh, to check them directly. So here you have the same list than uh, and just before. The only thing is uh, I zoom on them and you have the, the exact numbers if you want to uh, to see it. It's exactly the same uh, the same detail than before. So as I say, you cannot avoid eBay and Amazon. eBay and Amazon, just these two platforms represent more than uh, uh, more than half of the world uh, commercial traffic on uh, half the world uh, platform commercial traffic. You add uh, you add uh, Taobao on, on it, 
and you have uh, 70 percent <laughs> it's uh, even 75 percent so uh, so eBay Amazon and Taobao are boom the entire world actually so what I really recommend is uh, an account on eBay eBay even if it's just uh, even if it's a uh, uh, half billion traffic which is very huge half billion traffic but it's uh, smaller than the entire traffic from Amazon who is uh, more than one, one billion traffic but Amazon the account are not centralized it's really a big 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 mistake from Amazon Amazon are not centralized so you need to create an account on all the different platform and manage all different platform one by one which is a really big mistake um, so what I what I was saying is you have to uh, to manage your product on eBay and on Amazon.com on Amazon Japan on Amazon D actually you can go until Amazon Canada because it's still a uh, 126 million traffic here when you see uh, 1 billion traffic how is it possible people are going uh, uh, how that uh, 1 billion people are going on Amazon every month it's impossible because uh, there is not 1 billion uh, people uh, on earth who are using internet uh, maybe very but the thing is it's not the the visitors it's not, I'm not talking about unique visitors and uh, someone who is going on uh, Amazon.com can go on Amazon that uh, Japan who will not go on Amazon Germany but he will go on, if he's Japanese he can go on Amazon Japan and when he's uh, coming uh, on the website he will maybe come back the day after and the day after and the day after so like this it's visitors not unique the guy is coming back so each time that he's coming back it's a new visit that's why we can have uh, 1 billion visitors I will not go in detail about how to sell on Amazon two things and the thing that you need to know is there's two accounts a professional account and, a, and an individual account and on the, the professional account you have more product more categories that uh, more categories uh, to sell than on the individual account and uh, on the individual account it's just uh, one US dollar uh, to sell one product when uh, when you can send a limited product with uh, with the professional account and you just have to pay uh, 40 uh, 40 US dollars for uh, per month to uh, to do it on Amazon you will need a, a credit card it's a US company and they ask you for a credit card I know that uh, a lot of Chinese company doesn't have credit card you cannot sell without a credit card so you need a credit card on uh, on Amazon just uh, one thing to know so as I said previously the Amazon Amazon uh, uh, are using the same CMS it's always the same system everywhere but when you're using uh, Amazon um, Amazon.com, Amazon Japan, and Amazon uh, China, Amazon Germany, Amazon anything. You cannot use the same account. You have to create an account for each platform, which is, uh, which is uh, quite complex. So you need uh, an Excel file to uh, to manage it, and you need to manage your reputation, in all of them, which is quite a big problem compared to to eBay because eBay you have one account to uh, to manage everything and. Uh, and uh, one account to manage your reputation when on Amazon you need to create one account and manage um, 10, uh, 10 uh, reputation on 10 websites which is much more complex and here is eBay here you can see that uh, it's also the same CMS everywhere but the good point is the same database everywhere so everywhere you go you can just log you can just publish your ads you have the same ma manager who will have, uh, where you will receive your message from uh, all eBay's if you have published on eBay uh, eBay German you will receive uh, and uh, you have created your account on uh, eBay China you will receive your uh, your message from eBay Germany to your eBay China you can you will receive your uh, sales and uh, everything from the same account it's really 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 a big advantage compared to uh, to uh, Amazon that's why I really recommend you uh, to, to use eBay much more uh, easier than, uh, than Amazon so the fact that all these platforms are using the same CMS each time you just need to know how to use one of them and you will know how to use all of them so you will publish your uh, your uh, product ads 
on uh, on all this uh, commercial platform on uh, all eBay on all Amazon uh, platforms normally you already know how to uh, how to translate efficiently your uh, your product in this language in all language so with uh, Amazon Mechanical Turk use the, the worker platform to, to translate you as to, uh, to a Russian guy to translate uh, your product from English to Russian don't ask them to translate from Chinese to Russian first translate from Chinese to English and ask a Russian guy who speaks English to translate from English to Russian normally you already know how to do this you, know, you have already done it so I will not talk about it but uh, what I will talk uh, next is how to use the the websites even if it's in Japanese you normally have the tra Japanese translation of your product but you don't know how to use the Japanese website so I will teach you now so how to use um, ja Amazon Japan for example how to use it you don't speak Japanese you don't know anything about ja Japanese so it's not, a, it's not even if you uh, you know perfectly Amazon if you know perfectly how to use Amazon.com it will help you of course because you will know if it should be this click should be this click should be this click but you cannot work uh, blind and the problem is you think you're probably thinking I will use Google Translator smart idea but no you cannot even a uh, by translator you cannot why because this platform this platform cannot connect on the under your name they cannot see what you see they will uh, they will um, download the page but they will not see what you're seeing so as I just said you cannot use a uh, Baidu Fani or you cannot use a uh, Google Translator because they cannot see what you see they cannot connect on your name they can, when you are uh, when you are watching um, um, Amazon Japan they will see the same thing than you if you are on the home page or if you are on a product page but when you are logged or when you are mm, yes when you are logged they cannot see they are not logged on the, under your name so they cannot see the page with uh, the product the product you are, you are setting they cannot see your message they cannot see uh, they cannot see uh, all your administration tool this they cannot because they cannot transfer the the post variable which should be technical but the the login the password uh, the username he doesn't see it he doesn't see the uh, session variable he cannot he cannot see it so he cannot connect and see what you see if you try to connect under the administration page your administration page he will log and amazon will say yes but you are not this guy you are so uh, you're something else you're google so you will go back to the home page and uh, he will see the home page when you, uh, you you are seeing the your log page or your uh, your uh, administration interface Google will see a redirection to the home page he will not see the same thing than you so he cannot translate what he cannot see so what solution can we have can we use a Mozilla plugin translation uh, plugin logically yes it would be logic that Mozilla can uh, can uh, take the information uh, that you have on your screen and uh, ask to a good translator to translate but even if it's logic I never found any for the moment never found any translation plugin smart enough to take the the content of your page and uh, transfer it to um, to uh, Google Translator I found a lot of plugin stupid enough to take the URL and transfer but when you take the URL, you are not logged, so same problem. You cannot see what what uh, uh, what you see when you are logged. So Mozilla plugin doesn't work. If you found a Mozilla plugin who work, please send me uh, send it to me because it's, uh, it would be very good to uh, to do it. But for the moment, I didn't find it. Can you use the Chrome translation tool? Actually, it would have worked, but on the system they are using a redirection they are collecting the information of the page and they are redir uh, redirecting to I don't know which service of Google to translate but the Chinese Great Firewall stop it right now when I, when I test the Chinese Great Firewall stop it so you can overpass it with a VPN what I don't recommend you because the VPN is always a risk to kill your website so 
don't use Google uh, Translate uh, Chrome plugin to translate because uh, because you cannot actually you cannot and if you try to force away by a VPN you will uh, you risk to kill your your own website so don't don't try so if you cannot use Google Translator in, uh, or uh, Baidu Fani directly because you need to be logged from them and uh, Google is not uh, logged on your name or if you cannot use a Mozilla plugin translates because he's sending the URL, he's not sending the information of your page uh, or if you can, if you cannot use a Chrome translation tool because he's stuck by the great Chinese firewall you only have one last solution to translate a page when you're logged I mean the only solution is you clone the page you are on a page where you um, where you you are logged and Google cannot access or by defining cannot access so you clone this entire page and you put it on a new server where Google have an access he can log for very there is no uh, there is no restriction and here he can translate the new page who has been cloned and he can translate this page so you can see the translation of this page so you will understand what is it on it that's the only way don't worry it looks very complex to, to do actually I will uh, show you uh, I've created an iMacro to do it so it will do automatically it's not you who has to copy paste the entire page all the time and upload it on the new server all the time and ask to Google translation to go on the new page all the time and to translate the new page all the time it's not you who will do it it's not micro who will do it in a few seconds so we w were looking to uh, translate a uh, Amazon page where we logged here we have cloned the page and put it on another server that Google can see that actually anyone can see but Google can see it there is no uh, no access no uh, you have to log your or anything like this so if you know the URL you can see what is inside and like this you can see it's uh, KS four zero zero three one seven three dot IP uh, something slash uh, form this entire URL if you uh, use it you will see what is it and this you will automatically give it to Google translation so Google Translation will translate the new page who is a clone of the original page where you are so he will translate the clone of what you want to read so he will translate your page actually so now we just ask to Google Translation to translate it and he will translate it in Chinese so you will understand what is it about before you were not able to understand now it's in, uh, in, Ch in Chinese you can understand everything yes I know what you will say it's nice but it's impossible to do it's too long yeah to uh, copy the entire page all the time and republish the entire page on a special server all the time and go back uh, go on Google translation and ask to translate the new page all the time it's uh, it's impossible it, take, it will take uh, ages you're right if you do it manually it will take ages but don't worry for, um, we have an iMacro who will do it for you so yes do you remember iMacro? iMacro was the same tool that you used to uh, to harvest uh, yellow pages or uh, yeah, to harvest yellow pages um, a macro is here to control your browser you can do whatever you want with a macro you can uh, actually ask him to, to clone a page republish a page and ask uh, to open a Google Translator and ask uh, Google Translator to, uh, to scan the, to translate the new page that you just created it's not a problem Google will do it perfectly so uh, in a macro, a macro with a macro you can do all of this in few seconds and uh, so no need to, um, to worry yeah, a macro will do it for you so this is the macro that we developed for this you can add, uh, you can get it on crossbordertraining.com slash translate imacro.txt here you copy paste this on uh, an macro that you will call translate uh, translation for example and uh, when you are on a page you just play this i macro and then uh, this i macro will automatically uh, clone the page uh, publish it in, uh, in another server and use Google translation to translate the new page very simple